you're pregnant, you have obviously hormonal changes and um, it actually is a really good time to do a, like a corrective care plan for chiropractic because you're releasing hormones that help to relax the ligaments in the body um, to help that labor process. So, um, you know, moving the baby through the, the pelvis and opening that up. So it actually, it's called relaxin, the hormone. It's actually used to, you know, relax the ligaments for delivery. And so, but that, it um, helps throughout the whole body. It's not just, um, you know, isolated to the pelvis. So. Um, when you can adjust somebody while they're pregnant, it's usually actually an easier adjustment. Um, typically, I found it actually adjusts a little bit easier. Uh, you don't have to use as much force, really. We did a technique, uh, Webster protocol, um, to help induce, actually induce the the labor. And so um, that technique is um, just working out some of the ligaments and muscles and some of the trigger points um, in the legs and pelvis area, just to um, kind of open up the pelvis so that um, a baby can go through. <laughs> and so your story was really awesome because, well, you tell them. <laughs> um, well, at first I had just done the research on chiropractic and pregnancy to help the actual labor progress faster. I have had longer labors, um, painful labors, whatever, but I really wanted to do it naturally, so I wanted to do it all naturally. So I wanted to try and get my body in the healthiest ability to go into labor naturally. Um, I He had talked to me about the inducing, and so I finally, I put it off for a little bit because I was trying to plan too much, <laughs> but finally we did it, and um, I went into labor five hours after that, and my labor was extremely fast, and I don't want to say easy, but <laughs> it's Weird as that sounds, I want to say it was very not like my first two, <laughs> I should say that. So, yeah, you know, looking back, knowing what you know now, would you have used that probably same technique uh, had you known about it? And yes, so, for sure. Yeah, not just chiropractic, not just the adjustment itself, but it was um, the Webster protocol, and then um, also we did some um, tea as well. You're, oh, yep. yeah. Yeah. Drinking a little tea concoction that. Yes. <laughs> um, why don't you talk a little bit about that and um, when tea, you started? Yep, I had started I think around 30 weeks. Um, it's kind of a red raspberry leaf tea is the main ingredient, um, and then one of the doctors here had recommended her concoction was to add oat straw and stinging nettle. Um, so I had added that into my tea later on. Um, and that is just supposed to help contract your uterus, which is what labor does. It just kind of gets your body prepared to do that and strengthens it before the actual process. Um, and I really feel like that made a huge, huge difference in the actual labor process. And we found that too, to be true with many other cases as well. So using um, the soft tissue techniques, chiropractic, um, some herbal stuff and tea as well and, and uh, we found it to reduce the delivery time the, the significant <laughs> real significant yeah <laughs>
on the other side. So we're really looking at pelvic alignment. So um, when she initially came in, we had a pretty good idea because um, when she wasn't carrying a baby, we were able to do x-rays. And so we know a lot about her pelvic alignment and how it's situated. Um, and then when you stack weight from pregnancy on top of that, a lot of times it will kind of um, enhance the misalignment a little bit, um, kind of make it worse at times. Um, so, but um, we check the pelvic alignment and another useful tool is is checking leg length now. She um, just got adjusted, so this should be pretty close. Um, and then the soft tissue work really pertains mostly to the sacrotuberous ligament. Um, sacrum being kind of this triangular bone in the middle here. Um, some people know it as like the tailbone, so if you ever fell on your tailbone, um, you know, it's, it's basically right to the side of that. But um, the ligament's right up in here, and if you do some cross friction work on that sacrotuberous ligament, uh, it really frees up the pelvis and allows for just a better delivery. So um, something we found to be really useful in, um, in clinic with all the women that are going through pregnancy and really speeds up the delivery time quite significantly. So, cool.